This video is part of a series where we build an entire FPV drone from start to finish. So if it feels like you're in the middle of a conversation that you missed the start of, that's why. If you're here for the information in this specific video, keep watching. But if you want to find out the full context for what's going on here, there's a link in the video description to the full playlist, and you might need to go back and start with video number one. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install your battery. And there is a reason this is a whole video all of its own and not just tucked away in some other video because battery installation, it if your battery comes off or comes unplugged, your quadcopter is not coming home. And if it comes off or comes unplugged while you're high in the air, it is going to come down and it is going to crash and potentially break or God forbid it could crash onto something and break something on the ground, which could be even worse. So it's critical that you install it correctly. And our battery's gonna be held on with battery straps and your choice of battery strap does matter. I prefer to use battery straps with like a grippy rubber coating. These Luminaire battery straps actually seem to have it kind of woven into the battery strap itself. I'm not so much worried about the actual strength of the battery strap, like they make Kevlar battery straps, which are impossible to tear. But I don't find that breaking battery straps is so much the problem as the battery strap coming loose or letting go. What we're gonna do is we're gonna feed the battery strap through like this, and we're gonna be very careful not to feed the battery strap underneath any of the wires. So we've got this little wire here. The battery strap needs to go above the wire because when the battery strap is cinched down, it's gonna be pulling very tight and we don't want it to be pulling on the wire and break it. We're gonna take the battery strap with the grippy side up and the Velcro side down, and we're gonna pass that through like so. Now, at this point, you could put a battery on and you could cinch it down and uh, you could technically fly, but don't because I am a firm believer that two battery straps is more than twice as strong as one battery strap and I always use two battery straps. So I'm gonna install a second one behind the rear standoff and again, we're gonna be very careful about this wire right here going to the receiver. We do not want to t uh, snag that. We want to have the battery strap up against the frame with no wires behind it. Once those two battery straps are installed, we will get our battery and our battery is gonna go on and the two straps are gonna cinch it down. So we're gonna put that on. We're gonna get it good and tight, good and tight. Really, really cinch it down and strap it on. Now here is the reason why two battery straps are more than twice as strong as one. And I've intentionally put this battery strap near the front of the battery to exaggerate this effect, but the effect that I'm about to show you is true even if the battery strap is like right on the center of the battery. In a crash, the battery will experience quite a lot of force. You could be going 60, 70, 80 miles an hour, boom, and you could crash. And if you think about the deceleration this battery experiences, that's a lot of force. And what that'll do is it'll tend to make the battery like want to lever out. And you can see we've got kind of a, like a nutcracker situation where all the leverage is being focused here at this joint. And that can cause some battery straps to break or let go. If we have two battery straps, one at the front and one at the back, it prevents that levering situation from happening and it is more than twice as strong as just one. Always use two battery straps. But simply strapping the battery on is not enough. So right now I could plug the battery in, let's go ahead and do that, and I could go fly, but I would have a problem. And the problem is, well, I don't have the props on yet, but imagine that I have propellers on these motors. Can you see that this battery strap could easily flop around, get into the propeller and get chopped up? We don't want to let that happen. The other thing we want to avoid is this balance plug here coming out of the battery. Again, it could flop down, it could get snagged. We don't want to let that happen. Here's how we're going to prevent that. For the balance plug, what some people like to do is tuck it in between the main discharge wires. And then what you can do is you can just give them like half a twist and that should hold it pretty securely. That works okay. Personally, what I like to do is take a rubber band. You can even buy the like tactical military rubber bands, which are black and thick and look, uh, they last a little longer. They look, they look cooler too, uh, but they last a little longer than these, which do wear out. And I'll put a rubber band on like that. And my, my technique is that when the battery is finished charging, I go ahead and put this strap on and that indicates to me that the battery is fully charged. When I finish a flight and the battery has been discharged, what I'll do is I'll just real quick take that strap, off and kind of put it on sideways like this. And that indicates to me that the battery is discharged and I wouldn't want to go fly with it. That's my approach. Whatever you do, you do have to restrain that battery strap in some way. 
So I'm just going to give that a little twist to take the slack out and tuck it in there really nicely. And boom, beautiful. Next, we're gonna solve the problem with the XD60 lead getting chopped. And this is a place where, depending on how you've built your individual quadcopter and where the XD60 lead comes from, you're gonna to need to use a little creativity. So on some quadcopters, this is gonna come out the front. On some, it's gonna come out the rear. On some, it's going to be relatively long. On some, it's gonna be relatively short. But your goal is to find a way to take the tension out of it and re 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 uh, retain it in some way that keeps it from getting chopped up. So for example, on this build, what I would do is, I would pass this battery strap through like so, I would begin to cinch it up, and then I would just tuck this in underneath there, so like that. Now it is restrained. And then what I could do is I could start to cinch this one down. I probably don't even need to strap it here. It's probably gonna be fine. So I can probably cinch this down, I can then plug this in, and now, where is it gonna go? It's not gonna go anywhere, right? It is good and restrained. Now, when you restrain the battery strap, it is important that you give it a little bit of room to move. So in flight, the battery could shift forward and backward slightly, and if you, if you tighten down on the main battery strap so much, that it has no room to move, then you could be in a situation where if the battery shifts, it unplugs. So you wanna make sure it's got a little bit of give, but not so much give that it can uh, get into the props. And I think that just, just tucking this front one in is gonna be just about perfect. If you're thinking to yourself right now, geez, this guy puts a lot of thought into this, this is Mr. Detail, and you're just uh, gonna blow this off. Well, you could do that, and you're gonna chop your battery lead, and you're gonna ruin Potentially your quadcopter will fall, fall out of the air, you'll ruin your battery. But uh, you know, I've done that too. So you're caught. That's gonna do it for this video. I will see you in the next one where we will actually do the maiden flight of the quadcopter. But this topic I think is kind of overlooked and is really important. And I wanted to make sure that it got it's the attention it deserves. Playlist is in the video description if you wanna find all the other videos in this series, including the next one. And I'll put a card on screen to that whole playlist as well, if you can see cards on the platform that you're watching on. I will see you there.